Psalms 106 verse 4 Remember me, O Lord, my God. The psalmist cried to God and said to him, Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. Beloved, there is a time that God remembers. There is a time that God visits. That doesn't mean that God forgets. It doesn't have the capacity to forget. It doesn't have the ability to forget. It cannot forget a thing. But when it does remember, it simply means that your time appointed has come. So you should put it at the back of your mind that God can never forget. Amos 8 verse 7 says, The Lord has sworn by the excellency of Jacob, Surely, I will never forget any of your works. The excellency of God tells me that it can never forget. He's so apt, he's so careful in all that it does that nothing escapes him. But when that prayer came from David asking the Lord to remember him, to remember him with the favor that he bears to his people, to visit him with the salvation, to visit him with a turnaround testimony. He was simply saying, my time to be favored, my time to be visited, my time for open doors, my time for a turnaround has come. And dearly beloved, I want to assure you today that the Lord God will remember you. He will remember you to favor you. He will remember you to visit you with a turnaround testimony. He will remember you with a testimony that will turn your situation around. He will remember you with a blessing that will put you on the highest pedestal in life. He will remember you with something that will keep praises, that will keep rejoicing in your mouth all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Genesis chapter 8 verse 1, God's word said, and God remembered Noah and every living thing. Beloved, I want to assure you that God keeps you in his mind time and time again. But when it is time appointed for him to show himself strong and mighty in your life, he will show forth and what the Bible could describe it as was that God as remembered. In the want of words, it could only be used as the word remember, but God can never forget. It was the time for God to bring forth the people who has been in there. For It was time for God to show them forth. And then the word of God said, God remember. It means when God has remembered you, your time to celebrate, your time to spring forth, your time to enjoy the freeness of the blessings of God, your time to enjoy open door has come. It means your time to dance has come. It means your time to celebrate has come. It means your time to enjoy the liberty that God brings has come. Dearly beloved, God will remember you today just as he remembered David and favored him. God bears the testimony of his people. He's carrying forth everywhere he goes the favor of his people. And when it comes to your doorsteps, when it comes to your hand, it means God has remembered you. It means that time God is visiting you as he visited David with his salvation. As he visited Rachel and she brought forth God will remember you. God's word says in Genesis 30 verse 22, Then God remembered Rachel. He answered a prayer and made it possible for her to have children. When God remembers you, it means it is time for your prayers to be answered, people of God. When God remember you, it means all of the petitions you have brought to his table, all of the requests that you have made, it is time for 
each and every one of them to receive attention, it simply means your appointed time for a testimony has come. And so Rachel had received us and God's word said, he answered a prayer and made it possible for her to have children. Whatever it is that may not have been possible all of these years, I want to assure you that in this year, the Lord will remember you and every one of them will be possible in the name of Jesus. Everything that you have been pursuing has seemed to have been an impossibility around your life. I want to assure you today that every one of them will be a possibility and you would have a cause to testify in the mighty name of Jesus because God have appointed that time to cause you to rejoice because God have appointed that time for you to have your own turnaround testimony like it was for Job in Job 14 verse 13. God's word says that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. Job knew there was a time his appointed remembrance from God will come. There was a time his appointment with God was settled and when that time come, he will receive all that he will receive. All he demanded from God was that God should hide him. It was that God should keep him in the secret. It was that God should preserve him. That was what he was literally saying, that God should preserve him until the time of his appointment, until his time of blessings have come. And I want to assure you, dearly beloved, God will preserve you. God will keep you well. He will keep you safe until the time you are supposed to receive your blessings, until the time you are supposed to receive your turnaround testimony. He knows everything you have spoken to him about. He knows everything that you have suffered. He knows the affliction you have gone through and he's telling you today that he will remember you. You see, David also prayed in Psalms 132 verse 1. He says, Lord, remember David and all his afflictions. It's time that everything that may have caused you to be pained, that may have caused you sorrow, that may have brought sadness your way, God will remember them. You just need to pray and make a demand and say, Father, Remember me. So when my appointed time has come, I'll be able to receive what is mine. Preserve me and keep me safe so nothing will hinder me to receive what is mine. When the time has come, like Job, who will tell God to keep him safe, to preserve him and to hide him until the time appointed for him, until the time of his remembrance. And I want to assure you today, you have prayed you have cried, you have made petitions to God. I want you to know that God will remember you. God will remember you as you remember the Israelites, as you remembered Abraham and favored the Israelites. He will favor you in the name of Jesus. As God's word says, and God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Dearly beloved, there are people that God will remember in your family for the sacrifices they have made and will bring blessings to you. God will remember your parents. He will remember your mother, the sacrifice she has made, the prayers she has made, the petitions she has made, and it will bring a blessing to you. He will remember the service of your father, all that he did in the kingdom of God, and it will bring a blessing to you. If the Israelites would be remembered because God remembered and brought to mind again the covenant he made with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And that brought about the appointed time for a turnaround testimony for the Israelites. There are people who have made a necessary investment into heaven. And that time of remembrance will show forth very soon. Every of their labors in the kingdom will show forth. And you will back those testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Those people who have made service in the kingdom, those people who have invested well, like God remember Lot because of what Abraham had done. God will remember you for what those people around your life have done in the name of Jesus. 
You can also tell God, remember me. I've waited. I've served. Remember me. Nehemiah would ask the Lord in Nehemiah 13 verse 14. Remember me, O my God, concerning this and wipe not out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for the offices thereof. Dearly beloved, God will remember you also. He will remember you also for the good that you have done and will cause your life to be a testimony for the services you have done for the kingdom that seem to have gone unnoticed, that have not received any recommendation, or the good things you have done in your place of work, God will remember you. As Nehemiah will pray and God remembered him, God will remember you and you will have a reason to testify. You would have a reason to praise God in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 136 verse 23 says, Who remembered us in our low estate for his mercy? endure it forever you have a reason to rejoice and you have a reason to testify because god has remembered you in the name of jesus your record book with god shall be open and you shall have a cause to testify in jesus name amen don't give up it shall be well with you in jesus name it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom